<clears throat> All righty, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your week. <clears throat> I've been super busy with my stuff, so uh, forgive me about that. So anyway, I want to do some stuff here and um, check it out. So Disney XD orders two new animated shows. Now, I also know they renewed Gravity Falls, which is fine. I mean, not Gravity Falls, but Star Versus Force of Evil, which is fine. So um, as of right now, the, the slated premiere will be next year, 2019. The House of Mouse is doubling down on new, doubling down on new animated children programming. Today, Disney XD ordered the Our House and uh, MPA TV show. See, so if I said it wrong, forgive me. Both new programs are slated to premiere on the date 2019 to be announced. All right. So we'll skip some of this. We'll go down really stuff. This is where they talk about this. All right. Now, Eric Coleman, I hear that name again. Eric Coleman, the man with a meeting. <laughs> Eric Coleman said, a media, a bit, I don't know. The Our House are both set in wildly imaginative worlds and share hallmarks of great Disney storytelling, which they have been doing, including fa um, fantasy elements and memorable characters. Matt and Dinah each bring a unique, a unique um, feel to their shows, unlike anything else on TV right now. Uh, so this this show. The AMP, whatever. I'm gonna call it AMP for now till I'll till someone actually pronounce it. I'll probably get it later. It's a comedy series that chronicles the, the adventure of 13-year-old self-centered Anna, who is a magical trans who's who is magically transported to the fictional world of AMP. A ritual marsh marshal full of frog people with help of an Excitable young frog named Spray. Anna will transform into a hero and discover the first true friendship of her life. Briley serves as a producer. I don't know who that is. So, pretty much, which, if you guys don't know what the show is, it's this one right here. This little bud right here. This this show right here. Um, For what I see of it, it's a pretty unique looking show. And again, um, it's fine, and uh, this is more the adventurous with a frog. So, oh, I cannot wait for the shippings for this. Oh, good dear God! Now, I want to get to this. This, this. this is the one I really want to address. Um, even though I think that show is going to be good too. If you ask me, out of both of these shows, this one's going to be better. It's the, it's the um, one with the frog talking frog. But we'll get to the get to that later. The Our House is a horror comedy series. Hear that again, a horror comedy series that follows Luz, a self-assured teenage human girl who actually accidentally stumbles upon a portal to the demon realm, where she befriends a rebellious witch, Eden, uh, Eden and an adorable tiny warrior king. Despite not having magical abilities, uh, Luz pursues her dream of becoming a witch by serving as Eden's apprentice at the Owl House and ultimately finds a new family in an unlike setting. Now, this right here is a horror comedy. There's not many horror comedy cartoons out right now. There's not many anyway. Um, I usually go to websites and look for, you know, if you type in, for example, horror comedy cartoons, Uh, you see Invader Zim right here. Um, let's see here. Maybe they got something here. Now I said cartoons. I don't know. What the hell? Grim Mentors of Billy and Mandy. Kyle Security Dogs. I Monster. Beetlejuice. Edgar and Ellen. So mm -hmm. there's probably more. But those are probably the most common in our shows. Now Invader Zim. Is another one, but you is not really that much of a horror. But if you want to talk about horror, these are probably the three most popular ones. More so Courage, All Monsters, and Grim Messers of Billy and Mandy. No evil concarnate. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But um 
Yep, that's about it. But back to what I was saying, this type of show you don't see a lot in today's um, landscape of television with the big three, with Cartoon Network, Disney, or even Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon, I think, might start experimenting because they have more of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, they have more faith in trying to do different things where Cartoon Network has no faith, which I will do a video on those clowns in a minute. But from right here alone, this is probably uh, has my curiosity right now. After seeing um, like like the concept art alone, this makes me want to, this to me is better than anything Cartoon Network is doing right now. Better than Apple and Onion. Sorry to say, it, it really is. This right here alone makes me want to watch because it's different. You probably say, oh, it's like Star Wars The Force of Evil. Not really. Now you probably say, oh, well, they all have one thing in common. The female uh, princesses, this is Disney. This is, if, if you expect nothing else from Disney, then you're a fool. So just go on with that. However, this looks interesting. Look at the world, look at the world building. That's fun. Apple and onion, you can't do that much world building other than talk goddamn fruits and, and an onion This is a goddamn vegetable. This alone, you know what this reminds me of? This art, this clip art right now reminds me of right now? This. This. Right here. It reminds me of the animation wise, no, but the art style kind of does remind me of it a little bit. You can see a little like right here and there. But this looks like some good um animations being put into this. This ain't no CGI BS, not this. New 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 new. And this looks pretty cool. I the Owl House, I'm really interested in that. I really like the concept. And the thing I like about these concepts are they're different. They don't feel the same. This show, the you probably seen this stuff. Well, we had a show similar to that. Yeah, with which, but again, that's years ago. Um, nothing comes close to that. You probably say, well, Star Wars Force of Evil, maybe so, but again, it's different in its own way compared to that. This one might have more similarities to Star than this one, because this one's horror comedy. Star ain't no horror comedy. It's just straight comedy and action. This might have some more similarities to it. However, she's not a princess. Neither of these are. But again, I don't mind. I like it. It's different. And from what I'm hearing is I think they might be 22 minutes, which right now, that's that's pretty damn good. There's no reviews or comments on this for it. But other than that, I'm I'm really psyched for this. So as always, guys. Like and subscribe. Peace. Have a Johnson day. And yeah, guys, go check out these two. Sh I'll put the um link to the article where you guys can go check it out. But yeah, Disney's doing some good shit right now. I mean, this has my interest. Like, finally, I have some shows to review. Um, ooh, this this animation. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that art style. I mean, not animation, but look at that art style. This just just effort is put into that effort. I like effort. That is effort. So, all right. Have a Johnson day.